Hello everyone and welcome back. Hope you guys had a great Labor Day weekend. Uh, today we are going to give this game a try. It's called Barry's Prison Run. First person obby. And because I'm an expert at Roblox, I know that obby stands for obstacle course. And I'm recording this on my Xbox app as a capture. And you can tell by my Banjo-Kazooie videos that some of these captures get really glitchy. Uh, hopefully the Xbox One won't do the same one, but I actually had to stop doing the Banjo-Kazooie ones on this Xbox app because the quality was just terrible. Okay, we are loading and we are going to play on easy because I am biggest coward you will ever meet. Alright, the volume seems a little loud, so let me look at the volume. Oh, that's not bad. Oh man, I love that noise. One day I'm going to make a three hour video on YouTube that is nothing but this noise for three hours. Because it's cool. Okay. Still seems loud to me, but it just says my volume is fine, so let's get started. Okay, we are going up the ladder eventually. We are escaping from prison. Through the vents. Come on, through the vents. There we go. Alright, let me adjust my camera. This game, you have to jump at like the last second or you will fall to your death. So you have to see where the edge is. Alright, so far so good. First obstacle dealt with. Alright, this is where it gets a little tough. Have to stay near the edge, but you also have to fall to your death. Oh, did you feel those spikes? I felt it. I felt it. You have to stay near the edge, but you also have to aim it in the direction that you want to go. Okay, one more. Alright, good. We made it. Let's grab the giant wrench and start smashing stuff. We all love smashing stuff. There we go. All right, where am I at? There's Barry. I gotta push this button. And then I gotta run. Run, run, run. Get out of my way, people. Take them, don't take me. All right, we made it to the pipe. Now if we don't fall, which we are doing several times, if we don't fall, we can make it to that door over there. I think Barry ate beans for breakfast because he is a little gassy today. Okay. Where are we going? Why am I stuck in a pipe? There we go. Into the turlet. And what do we do in the turlet? We start kicking doors. And we grab the shovel because somebody got rid of this turlet so I could dig. Dig, dig, dig. What was that line from the movie? It said there are two types of people in the world. Those that have guns and those that dig. Start digging. I think that was the good, the bad, and the ugly. But that's a great line. If you don't own a gun, you're the guy that digs. I never remember the three actors in that movie. I know it was Clint Eastwood, but the other two? Uh, oh, uh, let me see. Eli Wallach played the ugly, and the guy that played the bad? Don't remember. Okay, there's spikes down here. i got to be careful. Get all the way to the edge, and then jump. Edge, jump. All right, life is good. Indiana Jones ball coming. Who would have thought back in 1982 when I was enjoying Indiana Jones that one day I would be the guy running away from the giant ball? I think it was 1982. It might have been 1981. Don't quote me on that. Okay, we made it past the giant ball. We're going up the ladder. 
now we have to do something ridiculously hard. I gotta push this button without this guy grabbing me. Okay, push the button. Oh good, he stuck me on a pole. Ah, he's not stuck me on a pole. He jump scared me. Uh, I gotta go change my underwear. No, I don't. I'm fine. Just a game. What are you afraid of? Okay. Up we go. Can Fatty run up the steps? I don't think so. But he sounds like he's trying, so I better go faster. Just do not fall. Because he is down there. Alright. So far we're doing alright. Can I flip the switch? You betcha. You betcha, man. I'm going up. Where am I going? I have no idea, but I'm going. Okay. Oh, we're going to the soda machine. Got to get some vitamins. Look at my vitamins. Make me run fast. Boom. Oh. <laughs> I fell to my death immediately, even though I had my vitamins. Let's try that again. I actually felt my spine going up my back and coming out the top of my head and getting higher than my hair. And I gotta tell you it hurt. Oh! And that time my knees went all the way up to my hips. This game would be cool if every time you fell it left a blood spat or a like the police make the chalk around the body when people die. Left one of those on the ground so you could see it. Just to remind you of how painful that was. Okay. Again, I gotta get all the way to the edge and jump, because if you're not at the edge, it's not enough to make the next obstacle. Alright, we're doing alright. Is it enough? We'll find out in ten seconds. One. Two. Splat. Nope, it's not alright. See, I double jumped there. I didn't even push the button, but it double jumped by itself. Why did it do that? Ouch. I don't know. But this section, I am going to slow down. Start taking them one at a time. Because I am not on a speed run. I don't even know what a speed run is in this game. I'll have to look it up on YouTube afterwards. Barry's Prison Obby Speed Run. Some guy probably did it in like three seconds through some glitch. But I'm doing it the right way, which is the painful way. Which is why my kneecaps are now in my mouth. Okay, jump. No double jump this time. Just jump and stay. Jump. St oh, it double jumped. <laughs> if I thought double jumping would get me to the end, I'd just keep running, but... It's going to mess me up, and I know I won't be able to double jump and make the distance because I won't be at the edge on the second jump. No, it did it again. All right. This time when I jump, I'm going to take my hand off the controller 100%. Just put my thumb straight up in the air. And if it double jumps, I know it's not my fault. It's the machine's fault which will make me feel much better. Wait a minute, why did I stop playing remotely? You'd better not stop playing remotely, you piece of... Okay, it says it's still recording. I don't want to do a 40 minute recording just to find out it didn't record. But uh, yeah, my machine just flashed and said you stopped playing remotely, but then it went back again. Even though I'm not pushing any buttons. No, stop double jumping. <laughs> That was my own fault. It double jumped, so I backed up a little bit, but I backed up too far and fell to my death. But I'm feeling much better now. So let's get this done. Because I made it through those first, like, 17 sections with no problems. I don't know why this one's giving me problems. Boom. Fell again. So anyways, how was your Labor Day? I just sat around and did nothing because uh, that's what you do on Labor Day. 
to avoid work at all costs because it's a free holiday from labor. But I'm one of those guys that doesn't like labor that much. I mean, people have to work, but to celebrate the worker, I don't know about that. Most jobs, you could train a monkey to do your job or uh, get some AI to do it and not pay him anything. We're lucky they haven't done that yet and fired us all. But I'm the guy that thinks that the real heroes are the guys that actually start the companies that have a unique idea or product that people need and they market it and they take risks with their own money. Ah, I backed up again and start the company. Now, I'm not saying major corporations because those are like entities, but I'm talking about like mom and pop family businesses. Some guy starts a pizza joint or like the guy that started the first uh, laundry detergent company or something. They did the research, they did the chemistry, they invested their own money, or they got other people to invest in them. And now they employ uh, thousands of people. And that's the greatest thing you can do in life, is to uh, have an idea, develop it into something that's necessary, and then employ other people so that they can uh, support their families and make their own way in life. What could possibly be more noble than that? Nothing. But it's these uh, government types and the unions that are the enemy. They're, they're the ones that try to tear everything down get a piece of the action without actually having to do anything. They don't work. They don't uh, have the ideas that produce anything. They just want a piece of the pie and they will rabble rouse and cause trouble and make the biggest stink in the world if they don't get their cut even though they didn't do anything to deserve it. But. Once again, I have said too much, but I made it up the ladder. That's the key to this game, is to talk and not pay attention to what you're doing. And you will make it... Where am I? Oh, I'm in front of a giant fan. With spikes on the side. Can I make it? Yes. The fan's blowing me backwards, but I've got enough momentum where as long as I keep the stick forward a little bit, I can make it which I have done to the next ladder. Okay, now I gotta jump on pipes, which means I gotta watch the edge and get right to the edge and jump. Come on, let me up. Nope, spike. Oh, that hurt. That one, that one I don't want to tell you where that one went, but I could feel the spike, and it was very painful. Okay, I don't want to fall on spikes again because my prison uniform is going to get holes everywhere. Okay. And after I escape, my intent is to mail this uniform back, hey, back to the prison so the next prisoner can use it. And that is called recycling. Okay, get up there. Where am I? Okay, good. All right, we're going to close some valves. See there's steam up there? i got to get by there. And if I don't close these valves, the steam's going to kill me. So I'm going to start at the bottom one. Ow! <laughs> uh, what I meant by that was I'm going to fall to my death. At least there was no spikes down there. I just hit the solid floor. Okay, one valve's closed. Now I go close the other one. But the good thing about this game is... Uh, it doesn't make you start from the beginning. It, it brings you back exactly where you died. So you don't have to redo like the entire game. Okay. One more valve to go. There it is. You noticed I worked my way from the bottom up? Because that's how heroes do it. And I'm a hero. I could have started from the top, but then I wouldn't have been a hero. Okay, we're climbing up vents, except this time we are on the top of the vents. And we're jumping. And we're jumping again. And we are jumping one last time into another vent. Very clean vents. Somebody's taking care of these. 
Oh, not this section. This one, you have to jump like very last second or you are going to eat spikes. That's the spike you're going to eat. All right. Let's try that again. And this time we're going to make it. Last second. Last... Oh! I jumped too early. Let me put my camera down a little bit so I can see the lines. There. Focus on the lines, not the blocks. Ah, oh, come on, get up there. You can make it. Oh, spike. All right, that's a little too low. Uh, maybe a little bit sideways will help me. All right, that's two sections. One more to go. Let's look forward again. Got to see what I'm doing. Ah. Hey, you. This is my obby. Trying to steal my glory. Success. That's all it took was somebody to push me. Didn't want somebody in front of me showing him, showing me how it's done. I showed them how it was done. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, there she is again. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Okay, out of the vents. Now we got to get by doofus with this frying pan. I remember this guy. Gary the chef. Come on, Gary. He's slowing me down by throwing food at me. Stop it, Gary. I gotta grab my food zooka and kill you. Food zooka. Food zooka. There it is. Yeah, Gary hit me. Ow. Oh, he's slowing me down. Get out of here, Gary. That frying pan hits me in the head and it hurts. Oh, there we go. We got a little bit of distance. Am I even hitting them? No. Why am I not hitting them? Maybe because I'm not aiming? Alright, come on, go over to food. Get ahead of them. And shoot. Was that him? doing any damage to him? I'm shooting at the roof. Why am I shooting at the roof? Let's see what I'm shooting at. Uh oh, he threw tomatoes at me. And he hit me in the head. He threw an orange at me and hit me in the head. He's in the red. This is taking way too long. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, he hit me again. I'm in the red. It's a duel to the end, Barry. Gary, whatever your name is. was shooting him. Why wasn't he getting hurt? That did not make much sense at all. Alright, I got my bazooka already. even worse than the first time. Okay, maybe I need to get him stuck behind like a pole or something. How do I aim this thing? I'm trying to aim it. Every time I stop, it goes higher. 
He's a happy guy. Okay, let's try it again. <gasps> Going up in the ceiling. I don't know where I'm stuck, but he's not hitting me, and I'm hitting him. That's good. I can do this all day, Gary. Hit me. Oh, he hit me. Oh, he killed me. I'm supposed to be killing him. Almost had him that time though. Okay. Come on, Gary Barry, whatever your name is. Alright. Let's try to get him stuck behind a table. Come on, get behind the table. Now he runs over the table. I get stuck behind the table. And he is pummeling me. Stop pummeling me. Over the counter. Back up. Keep them stuck. Am I not hitting him? Hitting me, so life is good. Ah, uh, there he is. All right, we are both free. Free to kill me. All right, run, run, run. Get a head start on him. Run. Oh, he shot me with a beat. That means I get a beating. Whoa. I didn't expect four beatings. I got stuck on the table. I need to really stay out the open. Let me see if I can just keep running this way. Okay, I'll run to this wall, turn, shoot, run to this wall, oh, he hit me once, but I hit him a couple of times, turn that way, and then I'll run to this wall, oh, he slowed me down. I jumped over the table. And I got stuck on the table. Okay, I got four shots at him. And he got none at me. Uh-oh, he hit me with one. Okay, 
I got him this time. Just don't hit me, Gary. Don't hit me, Gary. Ah. Gary hit me. Okay. Four hits. Turn. Run this way. Alright, he got me one time, but that's okay. I got him like five times. Uh-oh. He's getting closer. Man. How is he hitting me with food? He doesn't even have food. It. Explode, Gary. Explode. Get rid of the food gun. And now where are we going? To a wall. Why am I at a wall? Oh, that's where I came in. I need to go this way. Duh. Man, that was tough. What do I got so far? 1508 for a time. How many times does six go into 15? About two and a half, so that's 25 minutes so far, something like that. Which is like way too long. But we keep pressing on because that's what we do. Hopefully there's no more guys with frying pans trying to kill me. Okay, what do we got, a fan? We're going up through the lasers. Don't hit me. Oh, you hit me. I clearly said don't hit me, and then you hit me. Let me try this one. Don't hit me. Thank you. Don't. I think if you make it through one and don't move... <coughs> never mind. Strike that theory that you can make it through all of them. Let me try the corner. Maybe the trick is to go to a corner. Come on, lasers, let me go. Tick tock. Time is running. And I gotta finish this thing sometime today. Alright, where am I? That is the question. Where am I? Ah, I remember this part. I gotta grab a plank. Piece of cake. This one's easy. Just grab a plank. Jump back down, get all the way to the edge, drop it, pick it up, turn, get all the way to the edge, drop it, pick it up, turn, all the way to the edge, drop it, success. Uh-oh, not this guy. He's another guy that wants to kill me. This one I gotta shoot his arm. Shoot that arm. Yeah, that's right. The arm. Walk in a circle. Oh, run. Run, run, run. Okay, we have officially stolen a car, and we are in the process of escaping, because that's what escaping prisoners do, they escape. Okay, let's take it out to the desert, and follow the arrows. I need to remember that if I ever go to jail. Just follow the arrows and you can escape every time. Okay, 
we are back to ladders and platforms again because we are in an obby. In an obby, you get all the way to the edge before you jump like that. Ah, put the gun away. You don't need that. And jump. All right, put the gun away. You don't need that. Making me look like an idiot. All right, jump, jump. All the way to the edge and jump. Ooh, pipes. I don't like pipes. They're not as big as platforms. But all the way to the edge and jump. Jump. All right. Take a breather and jump. All right. Jump. We made it. The first time. And you know what, folks? I have successfully escaped. Yeah, I'm looking at my computer now, and this thing is all grainy looking. I think I need a new laptop if I want to play games that stream, because this just looks terrible. Terrible. I'm looking at my monitor and I see a nice clear picture. Then I look down at the laptop that's running off of the Xbox app and it is just covered with nothing but terrible. Okay, I tell you what, let's stop streaming. We're going to disconnect and we are going to reconnect and I am magically on YouTube because I wanted to give some shout outs uh, let's see let's go to my channel because it's my channel and I can do what I want okay let's see we've got 567 subscribers that folks is just about a million because if I round up to the nearest million, it is exactly one million subscribers. And I've got a notification. And we'll get to that later. I wanted to give some shout outs. And we'll start by giving a shout out to Yuli and AI Soccer 7. And I have a bunch of new subscribers. We'll start right here. New subscriber at Tips Bass. Thank you for subscribing at Tips Bass. And Asher Bailey asked my why I jumped out of my cart again when I did that run uh, with the extra large rainbow cart. And it's because I have a thousand wins and I've said before I am not getting a thousand and one wins because nothing's better than a thousand. And Payal Kesarwani said, excellent vis video. Thank you, Payal. That's a nice comment. I appreciate that. Oh, and Muhammad Mia, he was the one that gave me the idea to do the run from start to finish in an extra large rainbow cart. And when he asked, I said, okay. And he thought I was mad, but I don't get mad, Muhammad. Uh, I was just kidding. Just sometimes I'm a goof. Okay, A commented that I need to add a friend E12034, but I don't add friends. I have zero friends on Xbox, and I have zero friends on Roblox, and that is the way I like it. That way I am not in the middle of a game, and all of a sudden somebody wants to chat with me, because on Xbox you don't have chat anyway, so what's the point? I have a new subscriber, instance number one. Thank you for subscribing. And a new subscriber, Jack Jr.'s channel. Thank you, Jack Jr. And Tanayich commented, if I could uh, fill up an extra large cart with people and make it all the way to the end. And I had told him that I can't because I don't have chat. And when people do get in my cart, it's usually because they want to mess with me and turn off my engine. Or if I get to the dehumidifier, they'll jump out and get their own cart and just mess me up. So I told him, uh, out of the thousand wins that I have on cart ride around nothing, I have only helped maybe six or seven people actually get from beginning to end. Because every now and then I'll have somebody jump in my cart and just sit there and not do anything. 
And uh, next thing they know, 20 minutes later, they have like six badges because I get them the speedrun card and the badge, and I get them the first uh, first win badge, and I get them the badge that from beginning to end without crashing, and I get them the two badges for going through the dehumidifiers, suffering and suffered. And then when we're finished, I'll take them over to the dehumidifier and go back to the scary tunnel and get them the hidden room badge too. So out of the eight, eight badges in the game, if people would just jump in my car at the beginning and sit there and be quiet, they could have six of the badges. I think the only ones they don't get are the uh, exploded someone a hundred times or got exploded a hundred times. Okay, but uh, this video is getting too long. So folks, thanks for tuning in. Again, I apologize for the quality. I know it is just terrible, but I wanted to try this obby on the Xbox app so I could talk while I was doing it instead of overlaying the audio. And uh, that's what I did. So I am amazed that I actually avoided swearing through that entire obby because I was ready to swear a bunch of times. But I don't swear in my channel because I know there's kids out there and they don't need to hear that. So you guys have a nice day. And I will see you next time. Take care.